Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Xnana. Today, let's learn how do we consolidate multiple sheets into one. Let's take for example, we have sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3 and so on. So how do we consolidate the data which is there in each of these sheets into a single sheet? I've broken down this process into four simple steps. These first three steps needs to be done in each and every sheet. That is we need to find the last row and column. When we have got the last row and the column, we'll create a range out of it. Once we have the range, we'll copy this range from each and every sheet and then paste it to a master sheet. Let's get into the practicals. So here I have three different sheets that is apple, mango and orange. So apple has 10 rows so ideally it's nine records mango has six rows that is five and orange has four that is three records right and we have a master sheet so here i put in like what is i have just uh, inserted the header so my ultimate goal is i need to get apple mango orange in one single sheet so let me start using vba so i'll go to the developer visual basics and as i said the first step is to know what is my last row and last column in each and every sheet so these two lines of codes have already written so if you want to know more about how do we know about the last row and last column i have the previous video which i'll put it in the description below right so i'll just brief you on what i'm doing here regarding the last row i'm going to the each and every sheet like say apple and then i'm going to the cell a 10000 or 1 lakh then i'm coming up until i find a non blank cell so to test that let me put a message box and call last row so i should get an answer as 10 and there you go and let me put something else here oops i know it's a spelling error but still it's fine i should get 12 as the answer and i do get so the code is working so as i said the first thing we are clear we know what is our last row and what is is our last column we take this off and then we need to loop through each and every sheet in this particular workbook so uh, let me declare couple of things let me declare the sheet dim sheet as a worksheet dim uh, wrk i'll declare as wrk as workbook and i'll set this workbook as active workbook now i'm all clear so since out loop i'll use for loop for each sheet in this workbook dot worksheets so look through all worksheets in this particular workbook and i'll put next so that i don't miss at the end and then what i'm going to do is since we have this master sheets which we should not be combining what i'm going to do is i'm putting i'm putting a logic where i'm telling that consolidate all the sheets except the master sheets how do i do that i'll put an if condition if the sheet name that is sheet dot name is not equal to master then perform the logic so if this is not master then what i'm going to do is i am going to let's copy and put it here tap tap yep and then i i got the last row and the last column of this particular sheet and then what i need to do is i need to copy this range i need to convert this rows and columns into a range how do i do that it's range i'll be using cell method so it says cell 1 cell 2 that means range starting range to the ending range the starting range would be pretty simple it should start from first row and first column and my last row and last column i've already declared so the last row should be lr last column should be lc dot copy oops so i missed to close the bracket i am going to copy and then so i just put active sheet right 
and then uh, what I'll do is I just want to move to the sheet master. I'll say sheet master dot select. So what will this happen is this will copy this range and then come to the master sheet. So once I'm in the master sheet, I have to find the last row of the master sheet because we are appending. Let's say we copied this apple till here and then we need to append it here. So what we need to do is first we need to find the last row and increment it with one so that it the next paste should be on the subsequent row. So I'll go back and then see. Um, let me call it as last row of master as lr underscore m is equal to sheets. So why don't I steal it from here? To sheet da, 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 equal to row and yeah plus one since I have to increment that with one and then sheets master dot range a and lr underscore m that means go to this last row plus one and paste whatever you have copied i'll say paste special excel paste values i don't want to copy the formats i just want the values and then what next so i have to close the if function so that is i'll say next oops not if it's end if okay let's trust this out okay so here i'll just call the cheat name as well let's select the cheat sheet dot select let's run it one by one okay so now since it's starting from sheet master this none, none of this operation should happen so it should directly end the if function and move to the next sheet yes it did next and next sheet is apple let's see if it does yes we move to the apple sheet it's counting the last row last column and then the range should be okay so i made a mistake here so we don't want the row one we need to start with the row two because we already have the header let me change this to two. copy as you can see here it is copied from row two to the last column and to the last row so then then this switch to the master sheet so last row is one plus one is two so ideally it should paste from a2 boom there you see we got all the nine records from sheet apple and then moving on it should switch to sheet mango it should copy from here to here let's do it quickly copied come here paste yes copy next sheet paste here yep so basically we got like nine records of apple four five records of mango and three records of orange what we saw earlier so this is pretty simple right so if you like my channel please like and subscribe i'll be coming up with more and more videos with how do we simplify and automate your manual task thank you